All right, let's uh, return to the presidential gala dinner that is being held tonight ahead of the ANC's important policy conference that kicks off at NASREC tomorrow. So earlier we spoke to our political editor. The stage is still set, uh, but most of the diners are not there yet. We are expecting an address from ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa a little later on, mostly speaking to business delegates who pay to be there. Now, ANC staff members have been picketing outside uh, due to unpaid salaries, they say. The, uh, this is to outline their plight and raise awareness that uh, while the ANC, uh, some members are hosting this dinner inside, some employees are uh, suffering as they have not been paid for two months. Joining us now is Mvusi Mdlala, uh, Mdala, ANC staff representative. Mvusi, thank you for being with us. You, you did say yesterday that uh, you would use this event. Um, how many staff members are there at the protest tonight? Tonight, as staff members, we are more than 15 that is here, as we speak. Okay, and what are your plans? So we showed some visuals earlier. It looks like a very peaceful demonstration. So, so it seems like you want to highlight um, the, the plight of, of you as staff members, but not necessarily disrupt the event from going ahead. We are disciplined and loyal members of the ANC. Our intention is not to disrupt, but to raise awareness and say that whilst they are sitting inside eating delicious food, staff members and their families are sleeping without food. They are sleeping with water. They can't even buy electricity. They can't even take their kids to school. Yeah. They will be eating uh, delicious food, but I understand most of the diners pay to be there. So this is an important fundraising event for the ANC. Uh, do you hope that it will uh, reverse fortunes somewhat? Is, is it vaguely big enough? What is disappointing to us, because for those who have paid to be here, they did not pay today. They have paid their money to be here in advance. But what is becoming clear to us, that money has not been used to pay or prioritize the salaries of staff. Instead, it was used for something else. And we're extremely disappointed and it's heartbreaking to have that kind of leadership that at all times continue to show signs of not caring for the welfare of ANC staff members. Who do you include amongst those leaders? Uh, who do you approach uh, around your plight? What answers have you been given from ANC leaders? We are including the entire National Executive Committee of the ANC. Including the president? They, including him. He's the leader of the National Executive Committee. As the president is the custodian of the policies. The entire Executive Committee of the ANC and they are included in that because on time to time they are supposed to ensure that the, the ANC finances are proper and sound and ANC is in a position to meet its obligation on a monthly basis. It's not to have the situation we find ourselves as we are today. And then today, unfortunately, we met with the SGO, the coordinator in the SGO, Comrade Gwen. And we promised uh, that uh, Today, we are going to get one month salary, but the day has ended. Once more, we have been just being fed empty promises as usual. A broken promise. Uh, do you believe that has anything to do with the crucial um, uh, nature of uh, what the staff are doing even around this policy conference? No, staff members, we are working from half past eight to half past four. This conference is going to be successfully because of the contribution of staff. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we'll leave it there. So a peaceful demonstration uh, saying that this is just to highlight the plight of ANC uh, workers who have not been paid for two months and were not paid again today. Mvusi Mdala, ANC staff representative. Let's take a short break.